Assalamu alaikum doctors welcome to my youtube channel MBBS and MBDS lectures today is the seventh video of rapid revision course of oral medicine which is very important for NLE, NRE, MBS, NBD as well as for BDS students now in this topic we will discuss about leukoedema and we will discuss definition of leukoedema etiology clinical features and its diagnosis and management First word the word leukoedema mean leuco mean white and edema mean fluid accumulation look at the clinical picture here due to fluid accumulation in the cells the the, the mucosa looking white it's due to fluid accumulation and how we differentiate this leukoedema from other white lesion mean from leukoplakia the uh, leukoedema is a uh, normal condition it's not a pathological condition and um, uh, when we stretch the mucosa uh, due to fluid movement the white lesion is become disappear but in leukoplakia when we uh, stretch the mucosa the lesion will not disappear and uh, after stretching when we leave the mucosa in uh, normal condition again the whiteness of lesion is come in leukoedema but in leukoplakia when we stretch the mucosa and leave the mucosa there is no effect on white lesion this is the basic difference between between leukoplakia and leukoedema now come to the definition of leukoedema leukoedema is a common it is common asymptomatic translucent milky whiteness of the surface epithelium which involves the buccal mucosa bilaterally it involves the buccal mucosa bilaterally it is not unilateral it is bilateral and mostly it involves the buccal mucosa it represents a normal variation rather than a true pathological change actually it is a normal condition but it is a normal variation not a true pathological change it is not a pathology it is just a, a normal variation mean variation then normal condition and now come to the etiology the etiology is unknown but genetic factor may be involved as well as environmental factor has have been correlated to tobacco use in environmental factor there is a tobacco use and it is frequently seen associated with get chewing habits in yemen now come to the cl uh, clinical feature in clinical feature uh, first we uh, uh, when we look at the age in age in it is common in adult and more in deeply pigmented person those person which have deep pigments in the body in that patient leukoedema is more common next is sex it affect male twice as frequently as female mean it is more in male mean twice in male as compared with female now in clinical feature the buccal mucosa appear water lodged opalescent and thick with the edematous appearance in adverse cases the oral mucosa appear corrugated and wrinkled this is a wrinkle base corrugated and wrinkled and it is a milky white appearance and next is the the tissue are readily flexible and it is a flexible and manifest no change in their physical characteristics in uh, in tissue there is no changes in physical characteristics uh, next is the, uh, the third clinical point uh, is the the underlying vascular bed is hidden by increased edema of the cell when there is an increase in edema of the cell the underlying vascular bed which is red is hidden therefore it is looking white the opalescent thick edematous appearance disappear on stretching the mucosa but it is soon re-established itself 
it is soon reestablish itself after when we uh, after stretching it's become disappear and when we leave the mucosa again it will reestablished itself next is the leucoedema in contrast to leucoplakia has no definitive whiteness leucoedema has opalescent milky surface milky surface which disappear on stretching in leucoplakia in spite of stretching the lesion remain opaque and unchanged in leucoplakia the lesion remain opaque and unchanged now uh, if we uh, come to the uh, uh, like in uh, in uh, differential diagnosis what other condition which look clinically and histopathologically look like leucoedema this is the uh, suckling pads are callous in neonates this is now a lesion identical clinical and histopathological to leucoedema has been observed on the lip mucosa of suckling neonates new burn and card suckling pad are callus this is on the lip mucosa and this is identical to leucoedema clinically as well as histopathologically due to fluid accumulation now a uh, diagnosis of leucoedema is important so that the patient can be spared repeated biopsy or surgery I mean the diagnosis of leucoedema is important after diagnosis leucoedema is a normal condition it is actually a variation of normal condition and it has required no treatment this is all about leucoedema now today our seventh video of rapid revision course of oral medicine is complete if you like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends if you new to my channel subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification for watching my videos i am very thankful to you thank you very much